Hi, I'm Sapientia. This is a very introductory step course for beginners. This is the final chapter of One Way ANOVA. 4.8 Let's practice One Way ANOVA. One Way ANOVA 8. Okay, uh, today we will do uh, practice the One Way ANOVA using Jamovi. And the sample data comes from Kegel.com. You can access to the Kegel.com and in search window, uh, you just ch search the telco customer chart mm -hmm. and then download the file. After downloading, you have to unzip the file. And uh, maybe there is a CSV file that is our sample data. Okay, uh, let's get started uh, uh, today's uh, practice. This is the telco customer chart file and our dependent variable is a total charge and the independent variable is a payment method okay uh, first we need to check the uh, descriptive stats of uh, our dependent and uh, independent variable this is our dependent variable we have a little missing values and uh, you can check the uh, payment method here uh, payment method have uh, like this. This is a group variable, so we don't have a uh, mean value here. So let's split by our uh, dependent variable by payment method, independent variable. Okay, here, um, as you can see, the electronic check has the largest size uh -huh, of our observation. And the missing the mean value is uh, large and very small here. May check. Mm -hmm. Median, minimum, maximum, like this. Okay. Um, and uh, we are going to the ANOVA. Uh, if you were check, uh, click the uh, ANOVA menu, there are two ANOVAs. One way ANOVA and just ANOVA. Uh, these two are um, working well, but I highly recommend the ANOVA, the simple ANOVA, but let's check the one-way ANOVA here. Okay, this is a one-way ANOVA um, window. Total charge is a dependent variable and payment method is a grouping variable, independent variable here. And a very uh, short uh, version of uh, ANOVA table is here. Mm -hmm. The F value is uh, 437. Uh, df1 df2 and p value very significant right so after significant the uh, one way ANOVA f value we have to check the um, post hoc right so here we have a post hoc test here let's check the turkey turkey um, here how to uh, interpret uh, this table is like this uh, first one is uh, we just check bank transfer versus credit card and bank transfer versus electronic check bank transfer versus mail check okay here the bank transfer bank transfer versus credit card was not significant the p value was 1 okay so it means that these two group bank transfer and credit card are same However, bank transfer versus electronic check and bank transfer versus mail check were all significant. It means that bank transfer and electronic check are different, statistically different, and bank transfer and uh, mail check are statistically different, right? And uh, in the second law, we compare the credit card versus electronic check, credit card versus mail check. So here, these two numbers are all significant. So it means that credit card is different from electronic check and credit card also different from mail check. Finally, the electronic check versus mail check is also significant. So it means the electronic check is different from mail check, right? That is our uh, result. So here, um, oh, where is it? Uh, if you just uh, click the descriptive plot, 
Jamal will automatically make a very good plot here. As uh, we uh, can see here, okay, this one is a bank transfer and uh, this one is a credit card and uh, this one is a electronic check and finally this one is a mail check okay and uh, as we uh, uh, checked up uh, in the post up test uh, bank transfer and credit card bank transfer and credit card are same it's the same group here what is the same here the same means total charges are same so it means that bank transfer groups total charge and uh, credit card groups total charge are statistically same okay and um, uh, this one and this one means we just compare bank transfer and uh, electronic check bank transfer and mail check here, the total charges of bank transfer is significantly different from electronic and mail checked total charges, right? And uh, likewise, uh, for the credit card groups, these two are significant, right? So it means that we compare the credit card and the electronic check, credit card and mail check. So here, uh, we can say that credit card groups total charge is significantly different from electronic check and mail check groups total charges. And finally, the electronic check groups total charge is significantly different from mail check groups total charge. That is our result, right? And uh, let's check the ANOVA's another or another menu. This is uh, just a simple ANOVA. Uh, this menu uh, uh, allow us to uh, test one way and two way and even three way ANOVA. So I highly recommend this menu for your practice. It's uh, almost the same. Total charge is a dependent variable and payment method is a fixed factors here is independent variable and uh, this one is uh, our ANOVA result table this is very general table in any software so okay as you can see here mm, the sum of square of payment method is uh, sum of square of between sum of square of uh, residual is a sum of square of uh, within so this mean square is uh, our variance, so this number is our between variance, this is number is our within variance, and so divided by these two numbers, anyway, the F value is 328, very, very large, right? So our P value is also significant. All things are same, likewise here, these numbers, and uh, these numbers are anyway same, Mm -hmm. But maybe you uh, ask something like, uh, is uh, here uh, the number is uh, 328, but here F value is uh, large, okay? The reason is that the default is a uh, well cheese F table. We can change this one, Fisher's table. The Fisher number is uh, 328. You have to know that the general general F test is Fisher's test. Fisher is a, a very famous uh, statist statistician's name. And um, so as you can see here, the number 300, 328 is the same as like here. Where is it? Here, right? So anyway, um, you have to check the version of ANOVA not well cheese fishes okay fishes version is a uh, very general and uh, okay likewise um we can uh, check the post hoc test here okay post hoc test here are uh, turkish Afe, bonferroni and uh, holom and like this okay it's uh easier to read in prior table 
because okay here bank transfer versus credit card bank transfer versus electronic check bank transfer versus major and uh, all things are not significant and all things others are significant so this result are uh, same <coughs> oh sorry same as in prior case okay and also this uh, will make us some uh, yeah graph like this and uh, you can change the graph uh, this is a confidence interval and uh, instead of this one we can use the standard error and very easy to change the um, yeah options like here and uh, if you wanna check the marginal means table yeah it's make us uh, some mean value of each groups okay and uh, yeah that's all is our um practice of uh, one way ANOVA and here very interesting uh, things is here this one is we call it as a eta square okay just to check the eta square yeah here the eta square is like this the number of eta square is a point one two three what's the meaning of the eta square here um at a square in Jamovi means the ratio of sum of square between to sum of square total. Here the sum of square of total means uh, SS between plus SS within, right? And uh, here we call it as uh, effect size. However, it is the same as the R square in regression analysis. Of course, you will uh, learn what is the regression and what is the R square in later. Anyway, here the at a square means the proportion of exp explained variance out of total variance of dependent variable. And uh, it could be expressed as a percent. So our eta square was 0.123. So this is a 12.3%. Okay. And uh, sometimes it is called as an exploratory power of model. Mm -hmm. But just to check, oh, this number is like this. And I will explain later the details of the meaning of this number anyway. Okay. Okay, so today we are done here. As I said, this is the last video of One Way and Over. So you are done. All things of One Way and Over here. Okay, 4.8. Let's practice One Way and Over. One Way and Over 8. See you next time. Mm -hmm.